was a dog. Then I was a bo I've been a boneyarder for what? Oh, nearly my whole rap career. What the hell is that? I mean, it's boneyarder. Then, then it's someone. Then it's someone to jail for. What? What? What is happening? Why would they even play like that? Why would they say that? What is, what is he talking about? Shot, shot, shout out to the lads. Hold on. Shout out to the lads. Shot, shot, shout out to the lads. Doing, doing, mate. Yo, lads, guess what? Shout out to the lads. Hold on. What that say? Shout out to the lads. Shot, shot, shout out to the lads. Yo, lads. Guess what? I will be going live Sunday, Easter Sunday. 12 p.m. Australian Sydney time. And I will be unboxing this box of goodies. Australian goodies. Australian cultured items. Easter Sunday, 12 noon. Make sure you join that membership because if you're not a member, you won't be able to drop that comment in the chat. It is going down. Shout out to the lads. Shout, shout, shout out to the lads. Shout out to the lads. So make sure you get at that membership so you can join the chat live this Easter Sunday. It's going down. Let's urge. Now listen, um, when I'm in my bag, when I'm in my feelings, and I want to get inspired, I listen to some Spanish. Let's get it. Let me speak to this yarn, all right? This yarn comes to my head because of people who are, who are even close to me. They say things to me like, oh, but... But if you say this, won't people think this? If you do that, but what if someone thinks this is legit, all right? Let me tell you something. There is no way on that you can possibly rob yourself more. That you can rob yourself more than to hold back who you are or change what you think or to hide something that you believe in the fear that someone may or may not judge. That is a fat, yo, Spain, y'all be speaking to my soul. I just got at it. Not even, let me not even say God at it, but I had an issue with a few group of, a few people over me, my strong belief that there's only two genders, you know, and um, a lot of trans, I guess they got offended by my comment, never meant to offend nobody, but that's how I feel, that's what I believe, that's what I know, that is a scientific fact, that is a scientific fact, you're either male or female, period. Okay, so, um, and I said that, and I guess they didn't like it, so, you know, they got upset, but I'm still standing on with what I said, and I don't care to have that support. My thing is, I love, I don't know if you guys know who Candace Owen is, but Candace Owens is, um, she be cutting up on the internet. A lot of people don't like her, some people love her. Me, personally, I have a love-hate relationship with her, and the reason why I say that is because she don't say things all the time that I agree with. So that's why that's what that's where the love hate thing come from. But I'm not gonna not support her because she don't agree with abortions. I agree with abortions. She don't. So what that mean? I mean nothing. It's just we have different beliefs. What's the problem? You or think differently about you. Let me let me tell you something, right? In this fucking world, right? If you're talking real life, or if you're talking internet life, or whatever you're talking about. When somebody is talking about somebody, if somebody may talk about you, if somebody may write something about you on the internet or something, have a think about where you are in position to them. Put yourself in a theoretical walk of life. What do you see in front of you? Yo, let me just stop real quick. But look, this is what I came here for, right? Yo, the other day, I posted this video because I thought it was ridiculous, right? So now I posted it to spread awareness so people could see how ridiculous the video really is so people could stop it. First of all, it's not like I was the first one that created the video. No, the video was already out there. It was already going viral for all the wrong reasons. So I figured, let me shine light to it for the right reasons. This is unacceptable. Somebody going to comment. First of all, I got 40,000 plus followers on Instagram. And I am monetized. I get paid off Instagram. Not that much, but I get a little something. Very grateful for that little something. Trust me. She got 60 followers. And she said something that pissed me off. I might even go and repeat it. It really pissed me off. I wrote almost a whole essay. And before I could press send... I thought to myself, let me check her page. I check her page, she only got 60 followers. I said, what I look like? It's a troll. It's like, we got to stop answering to the trolls, bro. And it ain't because she had 60 followers that I just felt like, oh, I shouldn't talk to her. No, absolutely not. I got lads that hit me up with, with followers probably about the same amount, and I still respond to them. The problem is, you're not even where I'm at in life on some content shit. 
you know what I'm saying? I can't go back and forth with you. Look at my caliber. If I say something wrong, I'm going to lose my, my monetization with Instagram. Not you. you don't, you're not even monetized with your 60 followers. So I say that to say, like he said, I agree with Spanion. You got to learn when you're here and they're there. You got to know. The people who are in front of you. If you see someone, if someone's on your mind, if someone's in your eyes and you're watching them, they're in front of you. They're not behind you. The people behind you are watching you. You're looking at the people in front of them. What do you think that in real life, or especially on the internet, that successful people, people who are actually doing something, what do you think they're not, they're, they're not out there bagging people? Have you ever wondered why? Because you so, and, and, and you give people, let me hear this clearly, you give people way too much credit. Way too much credit, way too much power. Do you understand that, see when you walk the streets, see how you see spinners on the side of the road yelling things in the air? Uh, do you see how you see the crazy person in the shopping center uh, yelling? Do you see drunks? Do you see how you see drug addicts? Do you see all these type of people who you look at as like, fuck, stay away from them cunts, who cares? Like, get away from me, you smell. Do you know these people can buy phones? You know that, right? So you know, each one of those per people has an iPhone 6 in their pocket and they randomly pull it out when they hate life and go mm, like that. So these are the people you're scared of. So if you, don't, if you don't worry about those people in real life, why do you treat every comment by everyone as some powerful thing that you need to agree with or argue with them? Do you understand or you let that... Um you know what, Spanion? You're talking to me. You're right, because I do let it get to me. I let it get to me. Ooh, I let it get to me so bad. But I, I mainly, I mainly, it mainly bothers me when it's a supporter of mine. Because it's like, if you support me, you're not going to like everything I say. I'm pretty sure. Drop a comment if I ever said something that you disagree with. And that's fine. That's fine. Because you guys say shit that I don't agree with. Like, I, I did a reaction video. You was like, TT, you bugging. This is fire. And, and no. And in the, in, the, in the reaction video, I said it wasn't fire. I didn't like it. But that person was still my supporter. They end up sending me something else. And I end up liking it. So it's like, come on. It's like you're not always going to agree with everything I say and vice versa. I don't want your support. If the moment I say something that you t that you disagree with, you don't want to support me. Now, if I offend you, that's different. But I don't, I'm not an offensive person. Y'all know how I move. Come on. Now, we all about spreading positivity. Subscribe for the vibe. I ain't out here disrespecting people. It ain't like I came out of nowhere and said, there's only two genders. Absolutely not. Somebody actually brought the, the situation to my attention. I said, you know what? Let me speak on this. So come on now. Pissing me off. Affect your emotions or, or your judge and you hold back who you are. If you're going to take one thing from, from, from me, all right, I'm glad that a lot of people are inspired that you can quit crime. You can be institutionalized and achieve things. How I got off drugs. So many, so many, so many stories. I don't reply to them. I'm sorry, like, because I don't look, like, look in that place no more, but... There's just, it's just so many people are so thankful. But if you want to take away one thing from me, a bigger thing, take, just do whatever the fuck you want and do it with respect. Say your piece. Who cares what people think? In a world where it is a realistic chance that we could be at war tomorrow with another nation, our world could no, change as you know it. Your city could be... So I ain't gonna lie. I feel like America going at it with China. I, they don't want to tell us, but I've been watching the news. And the older you get, you watch the news. And it's not looking good. Like, it is not looking good. Like, first of all, I always, this might sound, I'm going to just say it. I got to be myself. Like Spanyan said, I always felt like China, the Chinese people, they, they raised their kids to be much smarter than Americans. Like, you go to those schools, they probably don't even have playtime. I don't know. They probably do. But their their education level is it's, it's high. It's really, really high there. Like, they don't play that goofing around shit like how we doing over here in America. You know what I'm saying? So I already feel like they're smarter than us. Let's be real. This made in China shit. Everything I'm wearing damn near made in China. So shit, the computer I'm using made in China. So it's like, nigga, they're smarter than us. So I'm just concerned about this. And it does bother me because when it's a war, we lose the civilians. So I agree with Spanyan. You got to live your life because you never know what's going on. And our government don't tell us shit. They don't tell us nothing. Destructed. Your family could die crossing the road. And the biggest worry you have in your life is what other people may or may not think about you. Go ask people, go ask football players, go ask boxers, kickboxers, USC fighters, movie stars, singers. Ask them why they're not out commenting on other people's stuff, how much they don't like this, or sending you messages because they don't like your clothes, or you're too fat, or you're, uh, they're gonna, why do you think they don't do it? You know what they'll say to you? Why the fuck would I do that? I have a life. 
I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm lucky enough that I find this, this spare time to jump on here. You know what I'm saying? Little, little time do I have to jump on here for things that I don't like. You get me? Because they're out doing things. So, ask them. I bet you that's what I tell. Why would I do that? If I don't like them, I wouldn't be on here. I wouldn't even look at them. I'm busy. Yeah, I don't have enough time to look at the people I do like. So think about if you're a girl or you're a boy and you're self-conscious and you think you've got to dress this way or you can't wear this or don't say this, people might not like it. Think about who are the people who are going to complain. The people behind you. You only see what's in front of you. No cunt that's out there walking the fucking hard job. Bars, yo. This is bars, yo. Yo, I used to, I think I probably told you, I used to do OnlyFans with me and the shorty I was dating. And I stopped, well, one, we broke up, so it was like, now what? I ain't about to be, I, I wasn't with that. We was doing what we was doing with each other, you know what I mean? So, it, I stopped, one, I just felt like I'm just, it just wasn't me. It wasn't for me. I feel like I'm, not to say that people that do that aren't talented, but I feel like God gave me so much talent that there should be no reason why my talent landed me on OnlyFans. So I stopped doing it and I just it kinda sucked though because the money was the money was amazing. Now I kinda miss it. So now I'm going extra hard on YouTube. But I say that to say when I first started doing it, a lot of people was judging me. A lot of people was judging me. And one I didn't one I didn't feel bad because not like I was doing something crazy. It was just me and my shorty doing our thing on camera. You know what I mean shit. My sex is amazing. I felt like it needed to be recorded. But <clears throat> People was judging me, and I didn't care. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't care, because it was paying the bills. Everybody that was judging me wasn't paying my bills. Nobody was saying, hey, here's $1,000. Nobody was doing that. <laughs> so you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? And you keep your morals intact. I kept my morals intact. I wasn't out here smashing a whole bunch of no, which is me and the girl I was dating. Period. So, you know what I mean? You you do, you do you have your morals, and you follow your morals, and you don't worry about what the other people say has time to look back and carry on about something back there true or not so stop giving all these people so much so every time you jump on someone else's social media or even in real life and straight away you go to the comments what does other people think i agree what because i want to know like think about who these people are they bums. could be anyone anyone bums and they be bums and let me tell you something a bum is not a a, a, a a finance thing. Like, oh, I don't have no money. I'm a bum. Absolutely not. Shit, half the time y'all see me on these videos, I don't got no money. If I done spent all my money on my bills, you feel me? They ain't got nothing to do with being a bum. A bum is a, is a mental thing. I wake up every day chasing a dream that's not even paying me enough, and I still do it because I have the mentality of a hustler. My pockets might not be on hustler, but my mental is on hustler. It's all about the mental. It's a mental thing. Don't these niggas be bums? That's why they spend all their day negative stuff. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it. Somebody told me, "Oh, you talk too much. Why you here then? Why are you here? If you don't want to hear my commentary, why are you here?" And I used to get so mad. I used to be like, "Leave me alone." Now I'm like, "Why are you here?" <laughs> like, hit and tell me if I'm crazy. You you come to the channel. You want to hear Chanel's thoughts. You want to hear. How I'm thinking, you like, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> you talk too much. You're miserable. You need somebody to talk to you. And that's why I talked. Because some people need people to talk to. That's why I talk so much. Because I need, I, need I need somebody to listen to me. It's therapeutic. And if you don't respect that, then bye. Bye. You can buy an iPhone fucking 6 for 100 Bye, bookie butt. And $20, you get me? Like fucking realistically, realistically. And you give these people all the power in the world, it stops you being who you are. Like, bro, look, I, I, you know what I mean? You know how easy I could be? Think in, in, this, little, in this little game of Oz rap and being gangsters and all this fucking shit, I tick the boxes way more than any cunt. We're in a world where you judge off how much jail you've done, how much crimes you actually done, how many people you actually got, how many money, how much money you actually made, how much... And that's stupid. So materialistic is stupid. Who the fuck ticks the boxes more than me? I can sit here dressed in all black, taking photos with all weapons, only talking about gangster shit. I just talk about killing people in jail. I can do that more than anyone. Do you think I do that? I don't give a fuck. Look what I'm wearing. I just signed a six-figure advance just before. Six figures come on my... I still wear K. This jumper's from Kmart. You think I give a fuck? Look at my shoes. Yes, man. Yes, because it's a mental thing. I keep telling people it's a mental thing. 
I remember one time my hair wasn't done. This is a quick story. My hair wasn't done. Spanyan just dropped the video. I think I put a, a bandana on. The girl I was dating, she was like, you really going to get on YouTube like that? I said, yeah, absolutely. Because they don't care how I look. They care about my commentary. And what does it matter? I still look good in that video. It's like you talking about I had the bandana on, you know what I mean? I was looking all cute and shit. They cost me $8, the Anko from Kmart. I don't give a fuck. Do you think I care what you think? Do you think if I cared what anybody thought that I would talk about skid marks or talk about how my dick shrinks when I train? I do not care. And I tell you what, when you do not care, people love you for it. That's why no one else talks. That's why everyone else, they just take pictures where they look cool. Take a picture in front of an expensive car. Take a picture with heaps of people wearing black with masks on their face. Just gangsta shit because they're too scared to get judged. They're too scared for the real self to come out. They don't want to say an opinion because people might not like it. Then they will lose their fame. But you know what? I told and that's what happened with me. I was losing supporters. And a lot, and my promoter was like, I have a promoter. She, you know, she, does, she does her thing. Shout out to Candy. But my promoter was like, you should delete the post, man. It's, it's We're losing. Because I really, I started losing followers. It's so crazy. <laughs> she was like, you're losing followers and everything. The post is still up. She was mad at me. A lot of people was mad at me. And I don't care. I was happy with me. Because I don't feel like I offended anyone. And I, that's, that's how I feel. I told you before and I explained it. Guess who's the loudest? Remember this. The, the minorities are always the loudest. It's the people who don't like something. Remember, I showed you. I showed you the numbers. I showed you. You can have a video, 15,000 likes, 2,000 dislikes. That's a ratio of seven to one. People liking it to disliking it. Go to the comment section. Nobody likes it. It's the worst thing in the world. You know why? Because people like something, they just be quiet and move on. Think about yourself. When you like something, you like it. You listen to it, you move on. When you don't like something, I don't like this. I'm writing this big thing. I'm Yo, it's so true. Cause when I, but no, I used to be like that, but I'm 31 now. So I used to be, when I went to a restaurant, if the service was good, I never wrote a review. Never. Uh -uh. But the moment you pissed me off... AI, correct my grammar. I might have messed up because you know when you mad, you start spelling shit wrong. And I'll send it. <laughs> now, when I go to a restaurant, I will leave a review if it's good or if it's bad. And we should do that. I'm telling them I don't like them. When, because these people are controlled by negativity. It's a very powerful emotion. Don't let these grunts. Remember, these cunts can be crazy person on the side of the street. This cunt can be a hoarder, smelly person at home. Anyone can have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Stop giving all these people so much weight that you change yourself. You get me? You change who you... You know what? The next negative comment I get, I'm going to just say I love you. I promise you. If I don't... Do, well, if either I will delete or my promoter delete it. She likes to delete it before I see it because she know my temper is different. My temper is different. Like, I know you're probably like, T -T, you know, I have a... My temper is disgusting. It is. And I don't care. Because I'm such a nice person, it takes it takes a lot to get me there. I'm like the whole... Like, you you got to throw a bunch of stuff at me. Oh, leave me alone. And then it's like, okay, now you didn't got me mad. So, yeah. Why? You change your opinions because of them. You can die anytime. Anytime. Your girlfriend can die. You can die. The world can change. And you're worried about what other people think. Fuck every cunt. Do what the fuck you want. Say what you want to say with respect. Doesn't mean you go out and be disrespectful. But never ever change any fuck, fuck that. Fuck how cunts dress. Dress how you want to dress. Say what you want to say. Make music you want to make music in. Wear what you want to wear. You know what I mean? Like, play what sport you want to play. Fuck every cunt. You get my point. You want to take away one lesson? Don't rob yourself. Don't rob your fucking self because of the fear of these other people. These people are nothing to you. And I tell you what, I tell you what, the louder the silent, the louder that the mi minority shouts, and it seems that everybody's judging you, the more the majority love you. You know what I mean? Because these minority, they're under the impression, this is why they type big things and this is why they send you inboxes because they're under the impression that if they keep saying something, they're gonna change the public's perception of you and they're gonna defeat you. This is what they think. This is, I've gone through every, I've been, so at the start, what was I? I was a dog, then I was a, bo I've been a boneyarder for what? Oh, nearly my whole rap career. What the hell is that? I mean, it's Boneyarder, then, then it's I'm a rapist, then it's I went to jail for rape. What? What? What is happening? Why would they even play like that? Why would they say that? What is, what is he talking about?
Then it's I've never been to jail. The whole jail thing's a lie. Then it's I've never. It's just can't, they 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 do these things with the hope of swaying everyone else. But they don't know that it works in the opposite way. The more they shout, the more the people are on your side, but you don't see that. But just know what's happening. Know that when 4,000 people shout, 166,000 people are falling in love with you. And they, and they appreciate you for who you are. They appreciate you for who you are. That's why I can jump on the internet, all right? If I look at, if I go into, say, my uh, Instagram, for example, I'll download it and look in it. Everyone, oh, I'm gonna get bashed. I'm gonna get, I'm the biggest gronk in the world. And I walk the streets and people come up to me like, bro, you're my hero. Please photos, <laughs> bro, you're a sick as cunt. All day, never <laughs> one person ever said a fucking thing. Yo, I always said that like, every time I see a comment, especially a comment, bro, I be like, yo, if it's a dude, I be like, bro, I got, yo, my, my, yo, my niggas won't even, you won't even stand two seconds around my niggas. So watch your mouth. I don't even, if it's a girl, You won't say this to my face. You won't look me in my eye and say what you just said in my face. No, you won't. And you know you won't. For many reasons. One, because why would you even play with me like that? You don't even know me. You don't know me. I could be a freaking psychopath. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then you're just stupid if you did that because you don't know what I'm capable of. That's one. And the other reason is you're a coward. Because you could have said it to my face, but you wanted to drop a comment. So it's like, why well, argue with them? They want photos. They love me. No, they so what? And if they did have something to say they didn't like me, I'd say, congratulations, mate. You don't have to like me. But like, good luck with your life. See you later. Never change who you are. That's the lesson, right? Fuck all these cunts. Give no one power. Be who you are. Everyone will love you for it. Believe me. Believe me.